Welcome to the second method for solving inhomogeneous ODE. It's a bit harder to apply than undetermined coefficients, but the good news is it works every single time. And there's no thinking about, is there resonance? Are there exceptions? You just do it. I call this the Nike method. And it requires a couple of prerequisites the first one is a very systematic way of solving uh, linear equations, which is called Kramer's rule. So let's solve minus 5x plus 3y equals 9 and 3x minus y equals minus 5. But I just wrote it in matrix form. And in order to do this, we just need the concept of the determinant. So for a two by two matrix, the determinant of A, B, C, D is A, D minus B, C. So you multiply the cross terms and then subtract it. And what Kramer's rule is, it gives you your solutions X and Y directly in terms of determinants. So what you do for X, you divide by the determinant of your original matrix. So minus five, three, three minus one. And for the numerator, you take the same matrix, but replace the first column by the right-hand side. So instead of putting minus five, three, you put my nine minus five, and the rest is the same. So, and three, one, sorry, three minus one, minus one, and then you use the formula above, so AD minus BC, so nine times minus one, minus three times minus five, divided by minus five times minus one, minus three times three. If you do that, you get minus nine plus 15, which is six, five minus nine, which is minus four, so you get directly minus three halves. So you see, no thinking involved, no um, row reduction any, or anyway. So it just gives you X. What about for Y? So it has the same form. So it's still two determinants where the bottom is the original determinant, minus five, three, three minus one. But this time, you replace the second column by nine minus five. So instead of putting three minus one, you replace that by my nine minus five. Nine minus five. And then I think the other one is minus five. Working nine minus five, what a way to make a living. Okay, and then you get minus five times minus five minus nine times three. Now for the denominator, the good news is you don't need to do it again because notice both denominators are the same. So it becomes minus four and then 25 minus 27. So minus two, minus two or minus four, which is one half. So it directly gives you X and Y X and Y is, what was it? Minus three halves and minus one half. And if you're interested, there is a proof attached to the lecture notes that you can see why this works.